So, Isaac, what are the most important things we're expecting out of this package? Sure. From uh, 30,000 feet, I think the most important thing is any degree of detail compared to the previous releases from the Big Six. I think they've done a nice job thus far of, of softening the ground and leaking some of the most pertinent parts of this plan, including a reduction of the corporate rate down to 20 percent. Uh, active owners of pass-throughs would see their rates go down to about 25 percent. And there have been good areas where we've seen some movement. And for, for example, there, and the clearest, I think, is uh, that we're seeing a bit of a shift regarding um, the enactment of 100% cost expensing that would last for at least five years, coupled with only a partial repeal of interest deductibility, whereas they had been talking about a full repeal of interest deductibility just a few weeks ago. So, I, Isaac, that all sounds good. Those are the goodies on the Christmas tree. They're going to have to pay for at least some of this. It can't be all deficit spending. As we understand it, they're proposing eliminating the deduction for state and local taxes, which could amount to something like $1.4 trillion over 10 years. That's going to raise some real problems with some Republicans in the Congress who come from areas of the country that where their constituents actually get a big benefit from those deductions. Is this going to work? Dave, I think you're absolutely right. T today is important as a gauge of where the big six uh, process ha has been moving towards, but I think it's, it's more important uh, is a means of gauging how high the hurdles are for tax reform. And so the responses, both from Wall Street and Washington and Main Street, are going to be important here. So uh, I'm looking to see what are the business interests going to say about a tax plan that has core components that will sunset within five years? What are the realtors and mortgage bankers going to say about a plan that inherently lessens the value of the mortgage interest deduction? What are rank-and-file Republicans on the Hill going to say, given that they have actually largely been cut out of the process to this point? And the girl in the room is still, how do you pay for the whole thing? 